Hey guys, this is Shane with That's It Guys. Here to review the XFX Radeon R7950, the Black Edition, which is the overclocked version of the AMD Radeon 7950. Alright, I'm gonna do just a quick unboxing. I hate doing these, but you gotta see what accessories they include. Sometimes photos don't really do it justice. Um, I always skip the box, but this just has all the different layouts and features, and I'm not gonna read that list, that's just terrible. But it is a 3 gigabyte video card. And actually, I'm going to be driving three monitors with this, at least temporarily. All right, just wanted to go ahead and cover um, some of the side accessories that are included with the XFX 7950. Um, you get, of course, the standard you know booklets and driver discs, but you also get an XFX custom case badge, which is actually a um, brushed aluminum with um, some plastic casing on there. There's also the classic "Do Not Disturb I'm Gaming" XFX door hanger. Um, you also get an HDMI to DVI adapter, as well as a crossfire bridge, and then just, again, just the assorted booklets that are shown here. Alright, now let's actually get on to the actual product itself. Now, I chose this particular model over a few reasons. Uh, one XFX has a lifetime warranty, um, plus the actual look of the card. This one actually has its own unique design. The card was pre-overclocked, which doesn't really normally affect me, but they did put stronger uh, components on here. Um, actually, off all these labels. As you can see, the card has a custom fan assembly on here, so it should stay a little bit cooler. Um, I generally run my fan at 50% or 100% if it's not too loud. And that's actually it as far as what's in the box accessories. We're going to actually go on to an install. And in case you didn't notice, yeah, I do have a lot of nerdy accessories here. Alright, let's go ahead and install the video card in my particular chassis. Um, let's go ahead and slide it into the slots. Should just push right into place. Right, of course, my case was being a pain, so I decided to line it up a little bit more off camera. Alright, and the thumb screws applied. And of course, most important part, and that's just installing your power plugs. This uses two six pin GPU power pins. Plug that in, which I've already had mine pre-placed. Notice the wiring, with the exception of this below here, the wiring is actually exceptionally well done. Um, this I had to move, so I had to tuck everything back to move the actual tower around. So it should all be set. Let's give it a power up. It looks like we're good. The uh, indicator light on the motherboard says everything's fine. Alright, I just wanted to do a quick video of the setup that I have right now. It's very temporary. I still haven't built my desk yet, so... But, and it's a cable nightmare. But as of right now, that's the current monitor situation. It's three Dell IPS panels, 23-inch uh, models. I'll have them linked in the description below. Um, they are 1920 by 1080 each, which brings the total display to 5760 by 1080. I've also arranged them in uh, portrait mode. I did not like that. Um, the center screen is way too thin for that. Um, you can hook up to four displays on the 7950. I also just wanted to capture this really quick with the lighting on, just so you can see the difference. Um, I have downloaded some special backgrounds that are actually formatted for this particular resolution. I'll also have some download links in below for that. Alright, and just like to show some benchmarks for some games that have been optimized for multi-monitor gaming. And a couple of notes, all of the settings were maxed out on each of the games. The screen resolution is set at 5980 by 1080, which is 5760 by 1080 with 110 pixel bezel correction for each monitor. Um, all of these are set at stock clocks. Um, I ran the fan at 50%, which is just about where my noise tolerance level is. Let's roll. So much for the rescue. Any ideas? Yeah, I'm not getting a strong we're getting rescue vibe here.
thank you guys for watching. If there are any other benchmarks you'd like to see, go ahead and comment below. Um, I'll be putting up a full review of the XFX 7950 later this week. Um, for more reviews, subscribe to our channel above and check out thatsitguys.com.